What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. We are back with the Manchester City pack. And this is a club selection. You've got 97 Ruben Diaz, 96 Hallen, 95 Bernardo Silva. And you also have a couple of other players in here as well that are definitely worth a look at. Now, look, these players have been kind of released before. We've had multiple versions. We've had different Man City packs over the last couple of months. But I do think that there are some nice players in here. So we're going to do a quick overview and a quick review of all of these players. And we're going to do a quick comparison with some other of the players there that are already re been released. And just a breakdown of that. And we will also be doing individual training guides for maybe five of the top eight guys here, which will be Haaland, Rodri, Diaz, Akanji, and Gundogan. So it's going to be an interesting one. We will have a lot of videos up on this Man City pack. And if you've got any questions, let me know as usual. So we are going to head over to eFootballDB. And we are going to start with the players. You can see there they're updated there with the correct player levels. Some of the players have got fairly nice player levels. Like Gundogan is going to be a very interesting choice there. Um, Grealish is going to be a good choice as a left wing as well but I do think that we are going to start with Akanji so this guy is a center back he's very physically strong in the air as well as on the ground very good defensively aggression is very good standard form is a bit of a concern but he does have man marking interception blocker aerial superior superiority and heading right so straight off the rip 76 speed is quite decent it doesn't mean that you won't be able to upgrade that that much the acceleration is going to be what catches this card. But to be honest, lads, with the way that the gameplay is at the moment, I've said this in multiple videos, you don't really need to worry too much about um, acceleration if your defenders have got good aggression and good speed. Like, you don't really need acceleration or speed at all if you're able to manually defend as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. And obviously, Akanji is going to have Destroyer as a play style as well. So that's going to be interesting if you have a player that you're used to playing with as a destroyer he will handle very similar to that right so i mean we have a look taking a look at his player skills let's check out on eFootball db a maxed out level version of him and see what he goes up to all right so if we are taking a look at akanji here we're obviously going to focus on his defensive capabilities first and foremost right so we've boosted him up we're going to take a look he's got good solid defense we're going to be able to get that up 12 points we don't need to focus too much on speed acceleration or anything like that so you can kind of mess around with that as i said i will have a proper training guide out in him but yeah i would definitely focus on his aerial ability um and obviously oh excuse me be able to kind of get him in a position that if this is going to be the best card that they release of him obviously his standard card has got 78 overall with 25 levels and this these two versions that they have previously released this one here that they previously released was slightly better so i don't think that this card is in my opinion going to be like worth it unless you are starting off and you missed out on other versions of him but yeah i mean he is going to be just a fairly standard high aggressive defensive center back with a destroyer play style which is quite nice he does have interception and blocker as we mentioned which is good um but yeah i mean comparing him to diaz on this list or even john stones when we take a look at stones here stones does not have blocker but he does have interception but he has got the height and the tackling and the aggression very similar he's just a little bit more pace here on the ball with better tight possession and dribbling and ball control so the two of those are kind of interchangeable lads obviously you got very similar players very similar height uh, Akanji's obviously going to be a much heavier tanky kind of center back with interception and blocker stones is going to be more kind of a delicate um kind of player similar to kind of van dyke i would say with his build-up now this version that they had of the english pack of john stones i think was a little bit better if you were playing him as a kind of a, uh, a kind of a passer and stuff but i do like this one that they have released i know he's only got 18 versions or 18 levels of him but i do like the card it is a very fair card i think um based on his style um the english version pack was quite decent as well but i do think that this card is quite decent this stones one i mean obviously he's only got standard form uh instead of unwavering form so that's something that you can keep in mind we also have Grealish who is here Grealish goes to uh 33 levels he's one of the highest on this with the highest or 23 levels sorry lads he's one of the highest cards in this game uh in this pack apart from uh Gundogan so again you've got your team play style proficiency you've got some lovely player skills as you can see there Grealish is a very very simple to use player right he's you know fairly tall uh, for a winger compared to some other wingers but he's got excellent kind of low center of gravity he kind of handles like Iniesta and Pedri those type of players in that role now I think that his main position and I will be doing a training guide on Grealish is going to be 
uh, AMF. I think he could be very meta at AMF based on the fact that he's got excellent player skills, one touch pass, double touch, outside curler, as well as having fighting spirit and long range curler, as well as weighted pass. He also has standard form, which is a bit of a pity, but I do think it's probably fair based on the season he's having. And I also like that he can play on all the left side as well as an AMF. I think this guy's an AMF could be huge because of the dribbling, because of the ball control. When you take a look here, you're going to have insane stats in attack and really good acceleration and balance for an AMF, which is very decent at this stage in the game. Again, we did have multiple versions of Grealish. We had the standard version here with 29 levels, but it's way worse than, the, than this card. We had this pack as well, uh, which was a special one that they released which was quite decent as in fairly in line with this card and then obviously we had the player of the week which goes to a 94 which is kind of similar to this one that we have here um except a couple of different um there was a couple of different uh he had a he had a first time shot as his player skill uh compared to this card so look he did this card had unwavering form as well so i do think that player of the week card was the best but this is not a bad card especially if you are a city fan or a Grealish fan it's a fairly decent card um to be honest so Next up, we've got Gundogan. I mean, this is a guy that I've never really... I've never really given him his full plaudits, I suppose, because I've always used Goretzka. And the problem is, is when I've been using Goretzka, I'm playing him in a very similar system to Gundogan. Um, now, I do like the fact that he has got one-touch pass, as well as double-touch and weighted pass. So all of these players are kind of similarly ba balanced and similarly... Uh, they handle similar. So I do like that Gundogan is a very kind of easy-to-use player. You can see here with the stats... 62 progression uh, points used with over across 32 levels. He is a whole player. Whole players, I am still working on my play style guide of what you should be looking at, positions they pick up. Um, and if something's not working for you, maybe to switch, you know, play style or use a different player. Certain players can have very similar stats and very similar player skills, but they have a different uh, play style and it, it makes a huge difference to their position and when you're not controlling them, right? So we will get into that. But Gundogan is, a, is the kind of player that, for me, you have to be very careful about how you train him. And I'm going to show you in the training guide. But he's not a bad player if you do spin him. Bernardo Silva, very similar to Grealish there as well. In fact, he's pretty much got identical stats or close to identical stats with the ball control, the dribbling, the tight possession, all of that stuff as you could possibly be looking at that you could want in an AMF. He can also play on the right flank, the right side. Now, he did have a Portuguese version pack released as well with 23 levels. And the card is identical to that one. So this card is identical to the Portugal pack, if you see there. It's literally the exact same card, except that you have got this one now with another chance to spin instead of just buying the Portugal pack. Um, but other than that, it's an identical card. Team play style, balance, every stat, every player skill, uh, playing style, everything. Same progression points, everything. Now, they did also release um, this version of him. They had the standard version and they had this one, which was part of the ambassador pack. And that is a slightly different card with, with a couple of more levels to go. So this pack actually does look fairly decent, this Ambassador pack now. Uh, I think that was with either the Neymar version or the Messi version. I think, I think it was one of those versions that, they, that he was there. So if you do have any other version of Silva, I think that you could be doing well with that one. But I do like this one. If you have the Portugal one, it is an identical player uh, pack. Now moving on to the three main ones, right, is probably Diaz, who goes to an insane level with his defense. We also have Rodri and we also have Haaland, right? So Diaz, straight off the rip, you know what you're going to be getting with Diaz, lads. He is one of the best centre backs in the game, as you can see here, unwavering form. His defensive stats, straight off the rip, without even boosting up anything, are in the mid-80s, like low to mid-80s, with jump and physical contact, defensive awareness, tackling aggression and engagement, all in the 80s. And then you have a heading that is just 78. With unwavering form, he's also got interception, area superiority sliding tackle fighting spirit and man marking he doesn't have blocker that's the one thing on this card compared to other center backs that are kind of met at the moment he doesn't have blocker right but he is a monster when you're not defending uh, manually like he is good defending manually as well but i think he really shines in a system where you're leaving a lot of the um you know the defense in the hands of the ai which a lot of people do at higher levels where they just cover a specific area they kind of zonal defend um check out my tutorial if you if, if you kind of are struggling with that but yeah i mean insane stats you can actually max him out if you want to you can nearly max him out at 99 with everything but always leave a bit of room um for growth with the arrows that when he does get an arrow boost that defensive awareness and tackling 
and a defensive engagement are pretty much going to be at like 99 um 98 or 99 and then like 97 or 98 so you're going to have pretty much a maxed out defensive juggernaut very similar to, to Thiago Silva that they released as the fortress player we also have Rodri Rodri is an exceptional player he's one of the best players in the game probably one of the best DMFs in the game um there is a couple of differences between his player of the week cards and this card and also the Spanish pack that they released um but yeah he does have one touch pass he does have interception he does have aerial superiority and fighting spirit he also does have man marking and low lofted and weighted pass which is very very key depending on how you want to train him we will have a training guide up on him as well you can see the stats there that we just boosted up to get a 94 overall version of him um but yeah very solid player you know what you're going to be getting from Rodri he's going to be one of the best DMFs anchormen in the game just sit in the pocket and pick apart your opponent's attacks stop everything passing lanes block get chances uh, blocked um just be a bit of a nuisance in the middle of the pitch really that's kind of what you want from Rodri and then also last but not least we do have the main man Halland who is absolutely beast in this season for City he's had multiple versions lads I think Halland at time of counting has probably had about six or seven versions including his standard card um that is out because the showtime one was there as well um so that's something that uh you know to keep in mind if you do have the showtime version of him you don't really need to be spinning for this guy um you know you know what you're getting with Haaland lads I genuinely believe right that Haaland is the best super sub in the game I think he's the best super sub in the game I don't think you should be trying like playing Haaland now obviously look if you get Haaland I'm going to be doing a training guide on him and a bit of a review on Haaland because a lot of people that are coming new to the game probably haven't seen my older videos of Haaland and why I think he is a bit of a bust if you're starting him as your main striker but it has got to do with that balance stat, right? Which you can see there that straight off the rip is 54 overall, which is very disappointing, right? But he does have unwavering form and he also does have the super sub play uh, player skill. So I do think that that's probably something that you could keep an eye on if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to be using him in a specific system, right? Because when we max him out here, we're going to just max him out at a 95 overall, 88 finishing, 88 offensive awareness, 86 speed, 79 acceleration, 87 kicking power and 91 physical contact with uh, 77 header I do think that he's a good center forward but just for with the way the game is at the moment and the way the meta is at the moment I will have a video out in the meta uh, currently with v2.5 you can get him to a 96 overall which puts him on par with this card this 96 uh, player of the week version of him he's had two player of the weeks um, you can actually get him on par with that but I think that these stats are slightly better because of the speed but the lack of acceleration is a bit of a killer and the balance is a killer on these cards so with this card you can get the balance up to 62 um which will make a bit of a difference if you play him well like if you play him the right way and you bring him on as a super sub i genuinely would only recommend bringing on Haaland with 60 minutes gone in the second half you bring him on for a half an hour and he will score your goals with that super sub ability so other than that, I don't think he should be starting games for you unless you've got nobody else in that role. So that is it for the Manchester United City Pack review, lads. I will have training guides out on all of these players and anything else. Get in touch in the comments below. I will talk to you later. Let me know if you spin or skip. Peace.